don't skip the foreplay. How does that relate to our soul and our spiritual nature? Yeah, well, I think the first thing that I'd say, the first misconception that might come up around that is that we're talking about something outside of ourselves. So foreplay, for example, one of my thoughts might be foreplay is when my man does that. Foreplay is when I am turned on by X, something that's happening out there and something that's happening to me. So what I'm talking about is something very different, which is asking questions, really two questions. It's sort of which is more resonant for you. You can ask in this moment, you can do this in any moment. We can do this right now. In this moment, am I turning myself on or am I turning myself off? And you can just notice what's happening. So I actually just noticed that like I have some tension in my shoulders and the way I'm sitting isn't completely feeling open for me. So just kind of adjusting that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do this. Let's take people through this. So, all right. So, yeah, yeah. So am I, am I turning myself on or am I turning myself off? And what we're talking about here is self-care in the form of radical responsibility. I'm starting to notice what energy I'm bringing to this moment and this magic that's happening between the two of us. <laughs> And where was I going with that? <laughs> and I'm owning it. I'm not making it conditional. I will, I will be turned on when he fill in the blank. I will be turned on when you ask this particular question to me in this particular tone of voice with this particular expression. We're asking how am I turning on or how am I turning off? Another, um, I was about to say more simple way of putting it, but this can be pretty esoteric and profound as well to say it this way is in any given moment, am I opening or am I closing? Is the energy expansive or is it contracting? So this is all part of the, the kind of foreplay that I'm talking about. And it gets really exciting and fun in intimate relationships in an intimacy container. Because again, once we're conscious and once we're aware of all of these different types of embodied practices that we can do, and these are no word practices. So we're out of the realm of healthy dialogue and how can I say things better when my partner and I are in conflict. That's not what we're talking about here either. There's a whole playground of embodied energetic practices that we can choose to play in if we like and start creating the energy that we want in our relationships. In this moment, I, would, I feel that this moment is craving more um, resonance, more intimacy. So there are practices for that. I feel in this moment, I'd really like to have hot sex. I, I want polarity, I want desire. There are practices for that. 